Ooh, begins. let's go. Okay, okay. Attack. Lots of crit rate and a healthy crit rate. Signature weapon? Yes, crit rate. Yo, okay. Now, this is like the free Shang Li we got. I'm not complaining. C0, that's fine. Okay, let's see it. Let's see what he's got. Ooh, oh. Oh, that's pretty smooth. How about charge? Wait, oh, that was. Okay, wait, is it any strike? One, two, three. No, okay, it's just that. Okay, what's this triangle business? Okay. I don't know if that was supposed to be part of his combo or whatever. Ooh, medium range, a little bit of AoE right there. I think you're supposed to mix that with his combos. Kind of. It's a little awkward to deal with. Here, let's see his ultimate. Yep. You. Oh, oh. What's this? Ooh. So this, it changes. What am I doing with this ultimate? Am I supposed to try holding that? I don't know. I need to know what this ability to. Okay, there we go. What is reconfiguration? Okay, it does some damage, not a lot. We got a feeling for him. His punchy moves, I'm, I'm pretty fine with it. It's cool animation, feels good, generally. Has a little bit of AoE slash kind of range. And then there's the, his ability. The skill is kind of okay. When it gets to the stronger one, is okay. I don't know how I feel about his um, Resonance Liberation. It doesn't feel good. We only got a chance to use it against the boss though, or at least I did. I wasn't able to build it up. I'm wondering if it's maybe better for like a mob, for mobs versus a single individual boss than that because it didn't really feel like much against a single target boss, but more testing to arise. But considering we're getting him for free, I'm not surprised we're getting him for free anymore because he doesn't seem crazy. That's, that's my reaction to him.